In today's video, I will be designing a product packaging from start to finish. I've always wanted to make this type of project while I was in school, but I never got the chance to do it. So here we are building a product package design from scratch. Let's get started. The first step in creating a product package design is to research and analyze the product. You need to understand the product's features, benefits, target audience, and competition. It's important to understand what the product is, what it does, and what makes it unique. I was inspired by this brand called Blackwing. I decided to create a premium brand that sells high-end office supplies. I was very attracted to their branding and packaging. I love their messaging which is to help people slow down and find some balance in their fast-paced digital lives. And their stuff looks high-end. I love the design of their pencils and the overall aesthetic. Inspired by Blackwing, I used ChatGPT to help me come up with the brand's name, messaging, and copy. The brand I will be creating is called Paragon. Paragon is a sophisticated high-end brand that believes in delivering the highest quality office essentials to their customers. Paragon's target audience is a group of young creative professionals who value quality and style in their office supplies. This target audience is likely to be made up of men between the ages of 25 and 35 who work in creative fields such as graphic design, advertising, and photography. In the packaging and printing industry, the term die line refers to a template needed to ensure the correct layout of a final physical package. This template serves as a diagram that marks all the folds and cut lines of a package in a flattened form. First thing I did was create a package mock-up of what I wanted my package design to be. This step took me a while, a lot of trial and error, I wasn't happy with the overall size of the packaging, I was struggling with the package dimensions. I used Blackwing's pencils to help me come up with the package layout and dimensions. Once I was happy with the dimensions, I went ahead and used a site called Pagdora, which are the sponsors of this video. Pagdora is an online packaging design tool that integrates editing, 3D preview, rendering, and exporting into one single web product. They offer over 2,000 customizable packaging templates, die lines, and 3D mockups. And a really cool feature is their 3D modeling software. Designers no longer need to purchase and install multiple softwares and all the work can be done in a single browser. If you want to try it for yourself, here's my discount code for 50% off. Now back to the video. After downloading the die lines, I went ahead and printed them out. I wasn't able to fit the full die lines in one sheet, so I printed them into two separate sheets and put them together after. After putting it together, this is what the final die line is going to look. I'm pretty happy with the overall dimensions. It's really cool to see the process from beginning to end. After finalizing the die line, I go on Pinterest and started putting together a mood board for inspiration. I want the design direction for the brand to be sophisticated, modern, and high-end. The first thing I worked on was the logo design. Once I finalized the logo design, I gathered all the information I wanted to include in the packaging, including the copy, product features, and icons. Now for the layout, I wanted to use elements that would give the packaging a modern touch. I used grid lines as well as a pattern to create a cohesive brand image and make the brand stand out. I created three different colors. This color palette is from my own personal brand. I decided to use this palette because it elevates the brand and works well with the logo and design element. 
Last thing I did was include a picture of the actual pencils. In order to achieve this, I took a picture of the pencils and went on to Photoshop to change the color. Just like the packaging, I wanted to create three different versions. Once I was happy with the design, I added these onto my package design. Also, since this is a passion project, it would be really cool if I actually made this into an actual brand one day. When it comes to printing, there are two different options. There is CMYK and Pantone. Here I have two Pantone booklets, one is coated and the other uncoated. Pantone coated paper stock has a glossy coated finish that allows ink to sit on top of the paper giving the colors a brighter, more vibrant appearance. Pantone uncoated paper has a more natural matte finish that is absorbent and allows ink to penetrate the paper fibers. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison of the two. Since this is not for an actual client, I am only printing in CMYK. It is a lot cheaper than printing in Pantone colors. I made my way over to FedEx to print my files. Mockups help visualize the package design in a more realistic way. This will give you a better idea of how the package will look like on the shelves and customers' hands. Now comes the fun part, putting together the final designs. And here's the final product packaging. And that's the end of this video. I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you never miss a new video. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video.